Hey, it's Joe Crump. Uh, got another deal that I think makes sense, and I'm going to show you how these types of deals make sense. I, I teach uh, zero down structures. I've been teaching you in these videos. I teach them in my program, pushbuttonmethod.com. Uh, zero down investing.com is my mentor program. Uh, go look at both of those. There's lots of free information just on those sites about how we do some of this stuff. Uh, and then also you can get involved in those programs if you want to pay for them. Uh, I'd be happy to teach you. Um, but let's talk about a specific uh, subject to deal so you can see the structure and how it works. And I'm going to show you one of the types of deals that I do in my Millionaire Matrix uh, so that you can see how this process works and how cool it is where you don't have any money, no credit in it, and uh, it makes you money for the rest of your life. Uh, these are very cool deals, and they're pretty easy to put together if you use the push-button uh, system that I've got, uh, which automates the whole process of bringing your buyers and your sellers to you. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's how I built my uh, rather substantial portfolio uh, doing it. Now, this Subject 2 house is currently in my inventory. Uh, I've, I haven't even advertised it for sale. I, I keep it as part of my portfolio. I'm holding it on to, onto it as a long-term strategy, but I am willing to sell it as well. So I'll show you what I do with some of these properties. The beauty of it is it's so easy to find these properties. There's so many of them available out there that uh, it's not difficult to sell them. Uh, so if if you ever want to buy this way and don't want to do the work to find the properties then give me a call and I'll put one together for you but uh, it's going to be an unusual type of investment and you're not going to maybe get your head around it at the beginning because it, at first glance it's going to seem like a crazy idea especially when you look at these numbers that I'm going to show you here um, let's let's go into this one specifically. Now you can take take over this property. I, I find a home owner that says I you know I can't uh, afford to make the payments anymore. I want to move. I'm current on my payments. I'll make make your next month payment for you, and uh, then I'll deed you the property. So they deed me the property. I take it over. And by the way, if you want to learn how to do subject two deals, I teach it in my mentor program at uh, zerodowninvesting.com. You can learn about that, or you can learn it in my push button method, uh, pushbuttonmethod.com. And we actually have some uh, automated systems to bring folks in who do this, uh, a complete uh, FISBO subject to system that automates the, whole, the entire thing so that all you have to do is pick up the phone uh, when a seller is ready to go and, and you sell it to them. Uh, it, they don't flood in with that method, but they come in enough to keep you, you know, get one or two of them a month and, uh, and get the process going. Um, but you have to be careful with negative cash flow. I'm going to talk about that uh, right now. Anyway, here's the numbers on this particular property. And this was a brand new property uh, when I got it. You can see the dumpster was still outside, uh, so it was less than a year old. Uh, the current mortgage that we were taking over was $162,000. That's a little bit above its actual market value right now. The value's dropped, you know, maybe you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars from this value. So I, I'm actually taking it over for a higher mortgage than it's worth. I'm paying more for the property than its real value. But let's see if it's a sustainable uh, deal. First of all, it's got thirteen hundred dollar a month income on it, uh, which is market rent for this property. So, and, and we're getting that. We've got a tenant in there, I've been in there for a couple of years, uh, that is paying $1,300 a month on this property. The payment that we have to make for the mortgage is $1,195 a month. That breaks down to $193 principal, $776 interest, $157 in taxes, property taxes, and uh, then the mortgage insurance because they didn't have an 80%, uh, didn't have 20% down when they got the loan. So they've got to pay mortgage insurance for a few more years. Uh, and then property management. Uh, which is, uh, well, this is what she's char charging me. I get a little bit cheaper property management than maybe you would because I've got a lot of properties. And then, uh, so a total payment that I've got going out every month is $1,299 uh, a month. we got $1,300 a month coming in. So that means we've got $1 positive cash flow, right? Uh, and in fact, what that means is we've got less than that because there's always a risk of vacancies. There's a risk of uh, repairs that have to be done. Uh, and and uh, so does it make sense to take a property like this if uh, if you're if this is the kind of deal that you're getting some people would say absolutely not it's crazy there's lots of other ways to do it but and, and this isn't the only thing that you can have in your strategy you've got to have uh, cash flow in your strategy as well but this is a long-term investment it makes a lot of sense let's let's look at the rest of the of the deal here 
this property, uh, the, the mortgage that's on it is 5.75 fixed mortgage. It's a 30 year mortgage. There's still 27 years left to this mortgage as of as of the time I'm recording this. Last year it cost me $500 to keep this property. Uh, I didn't make it to my $12. I got, it cost me $500 because we had some repairs that had to be done. So I ended up paying $500 to keep this property. But I got some benefits from it. I got depreciation on the property, which because I'm a real estate professional, uh, and you can be too if you work 750 hours uh, a year in real estate. If you don't, then you'd have to take it off of your passive investments. But if you, uh, although you can take up, you know, if you, you know, there's some other rules on this. I'm not going to get into all that. But there is some depreciation on this one. I'm able to depreciate it by 27 and a half years. So if, uh, let's say, 130,000 is the cost of the improvements on this, if I divide that by 27 and a half, I get uh, $4,700, a little over $4,700 a year. I can depreciate or I can deduct from my taxable income. So if my taxable income, or let's say your taxable income was $75,000 that year, you could reduce that $75,000 income and only pay income on, uh, you know, f what, 71000 of that, uh, or 70300 actually, because you'd be taking $4,700 off of that. So if you're in a 35% tax bracket, that means that you've got, uh, well, 35% of that. That means your actual savings is about $1,600 a month. So if it cost me $500 to keep that property, just depreciation alone, I made back, I made 13, I made, I'm sorry, $1,100 in uh, above what it cost me. Now, I might have had a vacancy, so maybe I, it would have cost me a month or two uh, of, of payments. So you have to be aware of that and make sure you have enough cash flow to handle it. I'm in a position where I do. Uh, fortunately, if you amortize this over a bunch of properties, you're not going to have too big of a, a problem. There's also the mortgage buy-down. Let's go back to this other page here and show you that the principal, $193 a month, is being paid towards principal. About $2,300 a year is going towards principal. So with uh, the 1600 plus the 2300 uh, what that, that brings us about to 3900 minus the 500 Now I'm at $3,400 a month that I made if I paid that $500. So now that's not too bad. Even if I had two or three months of vacancies, that property would still be paying for itself every month and I'd be okay. Uh, also, eventually this property is going to uh, appreciate in value. Even though I paid a little bit more for it than its current market value, um, I did it in a time that's you know, kind of depressed right now. And that's one of the reasons it's so easy to get subject to properties right now because of uh, uh, the, the nature and these people are upside down in their property and they can't go and sell it uh, with a realtor. So it makes a lot of sense for them to do it this way as well. Now, if you wanted to buy it for me, I could, you could pay me $5,000. I wouldn't give you the deed to the property. Remember I talked about staying in control of the transaction? Uh, I would stay in control of the transaction by staying on the deed and selling it to you on a land contract, but at the same terms that the current mortgage is. So all you have to do is make the current payment on the mortgage, and as long as you do that, this property will be yours, and you'll be able to keep it, and you'll be able to get all the deductions and appreciation and all the value from that. Now, once this property, uh, there, there's a vacancy, eventually there's going to be a vacancy on this property because we rented it to a tenant, not to a lease option buyer. Uh, and, and by the way, tenants sometimes can stay for 15, 20, 30 years in a property. So uh, on average, people move every two to five years. So, but I've had an awful lot of properties that people have stayed in forever, it seems like. Anyway, if, I, if, they, if they moved out, uh, then we, if you wanted to, you could go out there and lease option that property. Now, I use a professional property manager, and I don't want to screw with going out and finding a lease option tenant, and I don't need the extra 3500 But if I, if I did, if I wanted to make a little extra capital, and let's say I was having to re-lease this thing or sell it every year or every two years, if I could make an extra $3,500 a year on this property, uh, it could pay for any expenses that I had on it, and it would offset my negative. Again, you don't want to do this without some reserves. You've got to make sure you have some money uh, in, in place. But if you, if you have some reserves, then it's a pretty good bet that you're going to come out ahead. You don't want to lose this property back to me. You don't want to have to stop making your payments, and then you have to come in and take it over. Uh, and uh, if you bought it from me, I'd require that you used my manager because it's somebody I trust, and I want to make sure it's managed properly because I have an obligation to the owner of the property to make sure that it's 
paid uh, paid for properly. So anyway, that's subject to deals. You can either go in there and learn how to do them and how to find them yourself. You know, use a lease option fee. And by the way, I've seen people uh, make three or four lease option fees on one property in one year because the people would be in it for, and for two months, three months, they'd stop paying and they'd go lease option it to somebody else. So in a way, it's kind of a benefit to you if they default, if you're selling it on a lease option, because you're going to make more money than you would make on your rent. Now, it's not my desire ever to have anybody fail in these situations, but if they do, at least you know you've got a way to make up for it. Well, that's subject two. Subject two is an exciting way to buy properties, and I think most people uh, had no idea they could buy it this way until, uh, until somebody said, hey, just have them deed you the property and you can take it over. And by the way, you can buy anything subject to. You can buy multifamily buildings. You can buy commercial properties. You can buy automobiles. Anything that's been financed can be purchased subject to you can buy you know move, earth moving equipment <laughs> you can buy anything this way uh, you just have to be able to make the payments on it but you don't have to use credit you don't have to use down payment you can just get people out of their out of the situation they're in they're, they want to get rid of those properties and then as long as you have a good exit strategy which I think this is hopefully by now after listening to all these videos about uh, analyzing deals you know that exit strategy is the number one issue of this whole process if you have a good exit strategy and you know where it's going to go and you've got multiple options for your exit, uh, you can make a lot of money. And Subject 2 gives you all those things. By the way, I do sell some Subject 2 properties too, uh, turnkey packages that already have tenants in them uh, that are pretty much break even. It costs you $5,000 to take them over from me, uh, and then you'll have a property that is essentially uh, at market value. Maybe in some cases the mortgage is even a little higher than market value that you'd owe on it. But it's pretty close to break even, and uh, you'd be able to hold that thing for you know, 20, 25 years, uh, be able to get the tax benefits through the years, be able to pay it off over the years, and then uh, retire and get the income for life from it and be able to pass it on to your kids. So if you're interested in uh, seeing a really high return on that money, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll show you how to buy some of these subject to properties that I've got. And we've got professional management to, to handle that stuff for you too, so you don't have to worry about doing any of that stuff. I don't. Thanks now. Bye-bye.